Well, it's going to be a great show today, Val. I don't know if you were aware of that, but it's going to be a it's going to be a great show today. It's going to be a great show because it's the first Val Olson show of 2023. So that's a very special, monumental show, Greg. Well, isn't it? Uh, uh, anytime we get into a new year, uh, we got to be blessed that we're in a new year. Uh, a lot of people did, don't have this opportunity. Well, we lost a lot of folks in 2022, as we always do, and we all had our challenges in 2022. But this is a brand new year. And it's a brand new Val Olson show. Um, I'm excited. I really am, Val. You know, I, I know it's cliche, but I like to set goals. I like to crush goals. So this <laughs> <laughs> I have a goal. And I think the goal is going to be just to just be myself, right? Like, just be who I am. And, uh, you know, you don't have to change. You don't have to follow the trends because the trends are always changing, but I'm just going to be me. I think that's going to be my hashtag. Just be myself. Uh, well, isn't it, isn't it what we hear is we need to be authentic yes. that people like people like authenticity with all faults with warts and all authenticity because today's listeners and today's viewers and today's business people and today's CEOs can see through uh, literally any kind of lack of authenticity. So if you've got a plan for 2023, I can't dream of a better one than to just be yourself. And you know why Val? Because Val Olson is awesome. Oh, that's really kind. I, I think you're awesome too, Greg. I mean, you just, in in your bag of tricks and, and what you're able to do, uh, it's it's amazing. Like, you know, you manage the generations. You talk a lot about that in your, in your book, uh, how right. you work with the different demographics. And right. I love that, that uh, you've taught me things about the challenges working, even with the youth. I, I use those those skills all the time that I'm learning. So I'm really appreciative of just the, the friendship and mentorship that uh, you've given me. So thanks, Greg. Well, I mean, and that means so much to me. I can't tell you, Val. Uh, it means so much to me. Uh, but it, re it really is what you're describing is I think what we, we should all be doing in the U.S., in Canada, around the world, and everywhere else nowadays and that's looking for our commonalities not our differences what you i believe i've said this a million times on the air and including on previous shows for you uh, i believe uh that we as human beings agree on 80 percent of stuff and it's the 20 percent we disagree on the 80 percent is family god kids health care safety, community, that kind of thing. And the rest of it, sadly, the other 20% gets all the mic time, gets all the mic time and air time. So if your platform, Val, which I can, I'm going to congratulate you right now. Uh, this is the first show of the year. This is a brand new Val Olson platform. Uh, new and improved every day as we should all be. With that Toyota word Kaizen, which we can talk about another time, continuous daily improvement and i want to congratulate you because this this is a milestone being your first show of the year but really the first show of a brand new and improved brand uh so kudos to you on that kudos to the effort you put into it which a lot of people won't realize val this show today and you sitting on your platform uh to my knowledge this has been in the works for about a year a year since i've known you so if uh, if January 2nd, 2023 is known for anything, let it be known it's the day that Val Olson relaunched her media platform. How about that? Well, that's very kind. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's been about a year and it's just it's a special space. It's a it's a space where listeners can um, they can interact with. I, I want to give a shout out this morning 
to my great tech department. They are just, they are on the ball and uh, they're working frantically so that you have the, the latest valuable information. And we don't sleep on valolsonnews.com. It's 24 uh, seven. You know, if there's breaking news that I feel you want to know about, we're going to be working it sometimes, you know, behind the scenes. But this morning, we have a special guest that's going to be coming on soon. And very, very special guest, secret guest that, you know, Greg, if it wasn't for you and just, you know, you're, you've inspired me. You've inspired the guests that are coming on my show. And, and honestly, these guests wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And uh, just, you know, the connections that you have to, to some of these guests and the personal history and how you've, how you've shown me that we, the individual, can go to anybody we want. We're living in a, in a tech time of don't be so intimidated. Don't be so threatened. Don't think that you can't talk to this person or talk to that person. So uh, you're really behind that, Greg, that kudos to you job well done at helping me recognize, yeah, I can talk to this person or have that guest on. So we've got a very special guest and truly, truly, Greg, it's all thanks to you. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, like I said on other radio shows, you're going to get me misty and crying before I even start the show. (laughs) Uh, I so, I, I mean this. I so deeply appreciate your kudos. I really do. I really do. Uh, And, but remember Val, remember great leaders and team leaders and connectors, as you'll learn from our secret guest. Um, It's not us. It, it, it's an, it's a team. Uh, It takes a village. No, it takes a team. It always takes a team, you know, to have a baby. It takes a team. It's called a, a delivery team. In the operating room, there are leaders, uh, there are other roles, but bottom line, uh, the old back to you, kudos on you for you jumped into the fray of wanting knowledge and information and you're interested in about it and stuff. And uh, that it's kudos on, kudos on you that you chased it. I mean, you chased a story and it turns out, goodness, Val, there's one story here and that's our guest today, our secret guest today. Are you kidding me? So. That's like a job well done. Uh, a news person, a news person, and people in media forget that this is not about them, right? It's about the story. It's about the guests, Val. And I'll be the first to say, and I mean this since we're cooing over each other, because and it's deserved. Um, more of the mainstream media, more people in media need to be like you. There needs to be more Val Olson news in the media today uh and that is is a completely direct statement without emotion and even if i didn't know you because unfortunately today everything we hear in the media virtually everything is affected or biased by something whether it is political affiliation whether it is advertisers and sponsors Because, unfortunately, what often comes out over the microphone uh, has been actually censored a bit or positioned a bit or uh, tweaked a little bit because the advertiser wanted it that way or the sponsor wanted that that way. Uh, So, indeed, uh, if this platform, Valos and News on Twitter Spaces, uh, honestly, as people will find out in the next hour, it's where new news gets its news, and we need, we need more Val Olsons in the media, Val, and that is that is from, from my heart. Well, thank you, Greg. I just I, I want to share a little bit here for a minute about our special guest. If you have ever used caller ID, you can thank my secret guest. If you have ever used OnStar, you can thank my secret guest. If you've ever used a map on your cell phone, you can thank my secret guest. And if your company has an automated phone system, 
you can thank my secret guest. So I'm just teasing you here because everyone's like, who is going to be on the show today? <laughs> That's just a little bit about our special secret guest. And I want to remind you, ValolthaNews.com, like Greg said, it is launch day, so be patient. Our secret guest is going to be dropping by when he gets here. In the meantime, we're just going to have some fun, Greg. And you touched on censorship. You, you, and, and I have been on the receiving end of it. And it can be discouraging. And maybe you, our listener, it, knows what that's like. And unfortunately, it's not like we can just beam a, a satellite signal to outer space and get through all the you know, political mumbo jumbo and all that stuff. We have to learn to communicate in new ways. And that's what bellwolfandnews.com is. I, my goal is just to keep it an open space where you can come for the best information, whether you're, you know, a news executive or you're a, just a mom at home who wants facts and information. Valwolfandnews.com is where you can go to get the best when it comes to information. Authentic, honest, and real. Well, I'll tell you what, it doesn't sound better than that. It doesn't sound better than that. That's a pretty darn good mission, pretty darn good goal. Um, and you would probably be the first uh, to admit, Val, uh, that it's tough doing that. It's tough to be authentic. It's tough to bring new news. It's tough not to be affected uh, by everybody around us. Uh, and uh, I would I would just thoroughly... Uh, I thoroughly enjoy really listening to more, uh, not only today, but at future shows and stuff, because as, as you say, authenticity uh, and, and uh, just, just being down to earth and telling it like it is, that's a, boy, that's a missing link in, in, in our world these days, Val, uh, a missing link. So again, if people like you and I, um, and uh, people like, you know, the Mike Phillips of the world on American Up Radio and, 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 and other uh, freedom-loving people. Uh, that's our mission is just to kind of get the word out there and educate people and do it with no pretense and uh, do it with no ego, if that's possible. Uh, that might not be possible with our secret guest, but that conversation isn't for another day, Val. But uh, here we go, here we go. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this today. I am too. Uh, you just brought up American Uck Radio Network. Why don't you take a minute, Greg, and uh, just talk about uh, the show that you're on, Dueling Citizens, on Fridays with Mike Phillip, American Uck Radio Network, and uh, just recap the year-end show because it was really good. And, and take all the time you need. <laughs> oh, goodness. You, you, you better not give me license to that. Give me all the time for Greg to talk. Man, I might... Might not finish for half an hour, Val. You know that. <laughs> but, um, thanks so much. Seriously, seriously, you, um, as, as you well know, I have a dear friend uh, named Mike Phillip, and that's spelled F-I-L-I-P. Um, much like you, Val, I've known uh, Mike uh, for, for about a year. Mike is a radio broadcaster extraordinaire. He is the... Uh, the best radio person uh, nobody knows. Uh, he is on the American Uck Radio Network, just like it sounds, American Uck Radio Network. Uh, and uh, his really missions in life and why I was why I was so uh, uh, interested in, in meeting him and chatting with him is number one. He is a pastor, and he and everything he does, he loves to preach the word of God. So when he's on radio. Uh, whatever, whoever his guests are, whatever he's doing on a daily basis, he always brings it back to goodness and uh, and um, believing in God and uh, uh, learning more about our world, the world we live in. But uh, his kind of specialty is the Amer is the United States versus Canada. The differences and the similarities. Uh, so goes the name American up radio and um he is is the probably the uh number one uh radio cheerleader probably number one proponent number one cheerleader 
for the Alberta 51 movement. That is the province of Alberta becoming the first state of the United States of America. And again, that could be three straight Val Olson shows for another day. But um, uh, Mike and I uh, be, uh, were, were uh, as it always goes, kind of spiritually connected because uh, someone out there in the, in the stratosphere heard that I wrote a book and I published a book. And the book, as you know, Val, is called Why I Came to America and What I Think Now. And it was comparing Canada to the United States in every way, because I can't believe how little Canadians really know about the United States and how little Americans know about Canada. As much as we think we're pretty smart and researched. So we were two people kind of on very similar planes, very similar missions. And, uh, and uh, within literally, Val, you know the story. Uh, but within literally, I think a week after meeting him, I was live. I was live on a two hour radio show as a guest with, with Mike Phillip of American Up Radio. And yeah. that was Val. You might, you, you might not even know this. Uh, that was 20 episodes ago, 20 episodes ago. So anyone who wants kind of a new, fresh, uh, uh American Up view of life. I really do recommend Mike's a, a Monday through Friday guy. Monday, uh, uh, and I think I think they start at uh, oh goodness at, at twelve o'clock at noon uh, Mountain Time, noon Mountain Time, Monday through Friday, AmericanUpRadio dot com, and uh, uh, Mike puts on a two hour show every single day, uh, which is very cool. Uh, I am on weekly uh, every Friday, and uh, my segment, as you well know. Uh, is Dueling Citizens with Greg Meekin. Uh, and that, of course, is Mike Phillip and I bantering back and forth and back and forth and dueling in a fun, feisty way. But bottom line, bringing out incredible information, new information, research information, red meat. Every minute of the show. When the show isn't Red meat, it is laughter and fun and joy. And the reason why it's now 20 episodes and counting, I'll be on this Friday again, Val, uh, is because of uh, the joy and the fun and the jokes and the, the camaraderie that Mike and I both have on the air together. Honestly, very much like the connection I have with you. Uh, and, um, so I am just thrilled to, to just be kind of a part of that. And Mike's Mike Phillips and American Act radio, it's got a, a much larger reach than people think broader reach, uh, even like this show, uh, where he is affiliated with the Stu Peters network. Uh, they were an iHeart affili uh, affiliate, uh, but they're multi shows. There's Mojo Five O in Dallas and other podcasts that carry Mike's show. And I'm guessing he's got a million, a million personal reach. Uh, but that's my little monologue on Mike Phillip and American Up Radio because it's so indeed near and dear to my heart. Uh, and I look forward to not only uh, bantering with him, but you in the future. And uh, of course, there'll be other radio folks down the road, but uh, uh, I'm happy to know him and I'm happy to know you. Don't you love when you can call up a radio show host like Mike Phillip oh. and he just answers the phone and you can talk to him or you could email the show and they read your email live. Yeah. I just love that. I think it's a lost art. Big time lost art, Val. Big time lost. Whatever happened to uh, starting at Gen X and younger, the millennials, the Zs, and even the upcoming alpha generation, uh, they have never learned, learned to use the telephone. They uh, uh, tend to not return emails, not return texts, uh, not listen to voicemails, uh, uh, quote, ghost people for days or weeks or months at a time. And indeed, Mike Phillip breaks that mold. He, he 
reminds me so much, Val, of a real workaholic baby boomer, someone who's about 20 years older than he is. But uh, if you email Mike Shaw, uh, I think it's uh, inf- uh, Mike at American Hawk Radio, uh, uh, American Hawk Radio at gmail.com. Uh, he will respond. He will, uh, 90% of the time, he will read your comment right on the air. Uh, he's com- he's most av- accessible, uh, really, per- one of persons I've ever known in my life. And that's a rare trait. That's a rare trait to have. Uh, but it's his trait. It's, it's my trait. It's your trait. And hopefully, Val, seriously, Hopefully we can pass this on to generation, younger generations, just like we're doing right now. If you are a Generation Z out there or a millennial like my twin boys, okay, I really recommend to pick up your phone, okay? I recommend you answer your voicemails, okay? <laughs> I, I recommend you stroll into an actual local business and say hello personally, not sit on your Google and shop all day you know what i mean so if we totally. we can if we can all treat teach younger generations that then my mission's accomplished my mission's accomplished if that's the case so there you go on that one val gregmeekin.com that's where you can get his book why i came to america and what i think now if you have ever used caller id you can thank my secret guest if you have ever used onstar you can thank my secret guest. If you have ever used a map on your cell phone while you're parked, you can thank my secret guest. Or if your company has an automated phone system, you can definitely thank my secret guest. And I'm very, very excited to welcome our secret guest, Greg. Why, why don't you do the formal introductions? Oh, do I have to? I'm not sure if